On today's episode of Animal Diaries, we're going to be taking a look at how to care for alligator snapping turtles. What are you doing? Turtles are a pretty common pet reptile in today's world. From sliders to soft shells, there's a whole stack of unique turtle species that people choose to care for. I get to take care of loads of different turtles, but my favorite has got to be our alligator snapping turtles. Alright guys, today we are going to be looking at our two alligator snapping turtles. Alligator snapping turtles are America's largest freshwater turtle, and they are freaking awesome. So let's check out our first one. This is Kue. This is my smallest alligator snapping turtle. And he's a little fatty. I got this little guy a couple years ago. This was actually my first alligator snapping turtle I ever got. And he is just a little guy. He's nice and chubby. He's growing very fast. Smaller alligator snapping turtles are like super easy to handle. It's okay. No one's trying to hurt you. What are you doing? Uh, even though this is a very, very small one, they're still a very special species. Obviously, people's favorite thing about this species is their size and how big they get. So not a lot of people really like the little ones like this, but he's really cool. All right, so we're gonna put little Kuei up here. He's got a nice 100, 100 gallon set up here. There you go. It's a nice little setup. Alligator snapping turtles, while they really like to have more space, they don't need a ton. Obviously, we wanna get these guys in big enclosures one day, but for now, they do really well in these tubs. Let's look at Trapper over here, our larger alligator snapping turtle. Now, he's a much bigger turtle, so he's in a much bigger tub, and you can see Trapper right there. Not big in alligator snapping turtles terms, but he's much bigger than Kuwe. And right now, he is my largest alligator snapping turtle. Come here, Trapper. Hey, my boy. Oh, goodness. That was a good boy. Trapper is actually a pretty mild-mannered turtle. Getting alligator snapping turtles can be a little bit difficult, and obviously, if you ever think about getting one of these turtles, check your local regulations, check the laws around these guys, because alligator snapping turtles aren't legal to own in all states. One thing to consider, I thought this was weird, turtle soup, I don't believe, is illegal in any of the states, yet owning a live snapping turtle is illegal in many. Food for thought. That's we Animal laws are very weird and whopped sometimes, but uh, you can't own one, but you could eat them. Very interesting. These guys are becoming an endangered species. They're much rarer in the wild than they used to be. Uh, oftentimes they get drowned in hoop nets and a lot of people are trapping these guys and like I said, turning them to soup. And it's very important to know how to handle an alligator snapping turtle if you're ever gonna take care of one. I get to handle these guys every day to every other day, you know, whenever I have to come out and deal with them. And I've never been bit by any kind of snapping turtle, common or alligator. Notice how I'm holding him. I'm holding the larger one right behind the head and then I like to put the other hand down here. If it's a much larger turtle, you put it at the base. And then to get a little bit of that weight off you, you can put it kind of like on your hip there. Now, one thing a lot of people don't talk about when it comes to alligator snapping turtle care, it's okay, bud, it's all right, is you actually have to trim their claws, which can be a bit dangerous. This is a multi-person job. You have to have a couple people helping you out. But you can see that his claws aren't super long right now. They've got a little bit of a point to them, and I'll probably have to trim them within the next couple of months. But uh, I have to trim these claws on both these turtles once probably every six months. If you're gonna own one of these guys, do not get bit by them. People have lost fingers to these turtles and one about this size could actually take off probably my index or pinky finger. And uh, they can bite straight through solid bone. Alligator snapping turtles, in my opinion, are actually pretty easy to take care of compared to other animals that I have. Not a big one, but they will get a lot bigger and this turtle will outlive you. So if you are going to get an alligator snapping turtle, check with your kids first. Make sure that they want a turtle because that turtle is going to live way longer than you do. They're just an insanely large turtle. They get over 200 pounds when fully grown. So take all that into consideration if you're going to get one of these guys. Not only the dangers of the turtle, but also the enclosure setup that you have to have. We're going to put Trapper up real quick. I have to clean these guys' enclosure quite consistently. It's okay. I have to clean them quite consistently. It's all right to keep their water this clean. I like keeping their water crystal clean. It annoys me even when little pine needles and junk get in there. Well, right now I gotta clean the snapping turtle setups. Uh, it's been a couple of days since I've cleaned it and it's just a little bit groggy. There's nothing super bad. It doesn't, you know, the water's just a little bit murky because of food being in it as well as the water hyacinths. Trapper snapped it all up. I didn't do any of this. I put whole plants in here and he diced it to pieces. And I will probably take the root balls out because this can actually regrow the whole plant. I actually think he ate one of them fully. The first thing I have to do is drain the water. 
Which, of course, I just start by... Here we go. Little drain out on my water. Yeah. Alright, Trapper, I got your tub. You're coming out of here. Boy. Now, yeah, let's go up here. Bang. Don't move. Extra, don't move. Alligator snapping turtles are pretty low maintenance in my opinion. However, they still require more attention than your average turtle. Not to mention that if you make one wrong move any day of the week, you could lose a finger. So snapping turtles definitely aren't for everybody. One thing that a lot of people forget to do, you've got to put this in your water. Uh, you don't want chlorine in your water. So however much you need to put. Do that. Plants back in. He will probably eat those, but it's fine. I'll get him some more. All right, and now Trapper's enclosure is officially cleaned. So he's gonna go back into nice, clean water. Hello. There you go. Good boy. There you go, Trapper. I always like having him in this nice, just cleaned, crystal clear water. So that's one turtle cage done. And uh, I gotta do this, little buddies. His water's a little bit murky right now too, and uh, now I got to do that whole process again with this tub. So here we go, back to work. Eight. Water. Not everything is exciting. Sometimes you just fill in water. I've got a whole bucket of fish here. So we're gonna first, we're gonna feed Trapper. So Trapper, can only eat a little bit of fish. And these are actually fish scraps. I get given these to a feed turtle. So there's a, a bass head, largemouth bass. And he will eat this whole thing in one bite. So, yep. Now normally they won't eat this food until nighttime. So that's why I feed them in the evening to where they'll have a chance to eat it before it actually goes bad. So he will eat that. I'll put a piece here. And he will eat that much food at minimum every single day. That is one feeding. Other than live feeding, this is what I feed them mostly. This adds a lot of weight to them. They grow a lot faster. The bones of the fish are really good for them. The scales help them grow a really nice shell. And uh, Kue actually eats a lot for his size. He's actually a really good eater. And obviously, they eat their water hyacinths too. Here you go, bud. He'll eat that in two bites. He can't eat that in one bite. There's a good fish tail for you. Oh wait, he might eat it. Wait, look, look, look. hold up. Look at him. Is he gonna eat that? Almost never get to see him eat. Normally they eat when I'm not here. Trapper is especially shy when it comes to eating. He only eats at night. I know Kuei here will actually eat during the day sometimes, but uh, I, I haven't seen him eat in a while. But uh, that's their diet. Water hyacinths, some live shiners every once in a while for them to have fun catching around their enclosure, and then some good fish scraps. Uh, this is actually something that can attract snapping turtles in the wild when people are cleaning fish and throwing it off their dock. You can sometimes see big snapping turtles coming up and eating the fish scraps. And it's really healthy for them. It's really good. So uh, that's one of my favorite things to feed these guys. You can feed them turtle kibble, but I've found that they don't grow as healthy of a shell. So for the people that feed them big pellets, make sure you're supplementing with an occasional fish because that is really good for these guys. That's something that they need to eat. So overall, it's not a lot of work and it's not hard work it just takes a little bit of time is all and uh, if you can imagine I do a water change every two days which is where I drain some water out and put some new water in which is not a full clean out and then once a week I do a clean out like what you just saw I drain it I scrub everything off I refill it I dechlorinate the water and I put the turtle as well as freshwater hyacinths back in their cage so it's not crazy demanding to have these guys overall turtles are a very easy animal to take care of but you've got to be able to put the time in to take care of them. Obviously, a filter or a water pump would take a lot of time off with that. Merka! But uh, since I don't have that, I just have to put a little bit more effort in and uh, clean out their tanks every week. A little bit of an update for you guys. We had a little unexpected animal rescue. The terrapin turtles that were inside were supposed to go in this tub. And if you have a look at this, 
We have another alligator snapping turtle. This one's a lot bigger. Uh, somebody was going to turn this to soup. It's about 40 pounds. This is the biggest turtle I've ever actually gotten to hold. The thing is massive. It was caught in a hoop net. Guy was going to turn it to soup. A friend of ours uh, went, well, wait, I, know, I might know somebody who wants that turtle. All I can say is that was the best $50 I ever spent because this is a massive turtle. I don't think we're going to be letting it go because, frankly, the river system it was caught in, well, a lot of hoop nets get set there. And I don't know any other really good environments to release it into that it actually live and have enough food to survive. My guess is that we're going to hold on to this turtle. We're not 100% sure yet, but I'll keep you guys posted if we end up releasing it or uh, if anything like that develops. But uh, what do you guys think we should name this turtle? Because now this is my third alligator snapping turtle. One of the things that I really want to do in the future is actually rescue these turtles. So this was actually my first technically rescued alligator snapping turtle because this turtle would have been soup, 100%. The guy was going to turn it to soup. We bought it from 50 bucks and he said thanks, now I don't have to clean it. Uh, so, we've got a big turtle, needs a name, what do you guys think? Well guys, that's it for today's video. I really hope you enjoyed. Is there any other animals that you guys would like to see some care videos on or what it takes to take care of them? Please let me know down in the comment section. My alligator snapping turtles are one of my absolute favorite animals that I get to take care of. And if you guys have any more questions about these guys, make sure to let me know down in the comment section. That's all for now and I will see you guys next time.